Hello, I'm Sam Trott, and this is my wife, Jennifer. We are owners and operators of Trott Lumber Company, Incorporated. I started in the sawmill business with my father, Marcus Trott, Jr., and two of my brothers in 1974. In 1982, we started our current location in Bedford County at 270 Card Road. We started with two employees, and currently we have nine. In order to meet our demand for logs as our business grew, we started our own logging operation in 1993. We manufactured a full line of green hardwood lumber products. Our son Jeremy will explain our current business operations in further detail. Hi, I'm Jeremy Trott. I'm an employee and the son of Sam and Jennifer Trott, President and Vice President of Trott Lumber Company Incorporated. I'm here to talk about all that we do here at Trott Lumber Company Incorporated, from harvesting a tree in the woods to loading the lumber onto your truck. We harvest over 95% of the logs to supply our sawmill, so our process begins here in the woods. We begin by purchasing tracts of timber from landowners through either an outright bid or a percentage agreement. Once the timber is purchased, we haul our equipment to the site to begin the logging process. First, we begin cutting down the trees and placing them on the ground with a 40,000 pound machine called a feller buncher or cutter. With this machine, we are able to more safely cut over 95% of the trees that we harvest. Once the trees are down and the cutter is a safe distance away, we have two men trim the unmarketable limbs off of the tree. Now the trees are ready to be skidded to the loading deck using what is called a grapple skidder. This heavy duty, powerful machine is able to grab the end of the trees and pull them to the loading deck, sometimes two or three at a time. At the loading deck, Sam Trot himself operates a knuckle boom loader equipped with a buck saw. With this loader, he is able to handle the whole tree and cut it into the lengths necessary for our sawmill. Once he makes the cuts, he is able to load the logs or pulpwood onto the trucks. When the trucks are loaded, it is time to haul them to the mill. We carry the loads of pulpwood, however, to other buyers to go to paper mills. After we arrive at the sawmill, we unload the trucks with our wheel loader and spread the logs out in a row. At this time, Sam and Jennifer Trot measure and grade each individual log and record the value and grade of each one. Doing this allows us to pay the landowners an accurate amount for the logs if they are bought on a percentage basis. Once the measuring process is complete, we sort out the logs and piles based on lengths and species, awaiting their turn to be milled into lumber. When we are ready to saw the logs, we place them onto the main saw deck. The saw deck brings the logs to the carriage one at a time. Operated by our sawyer, the carriage sends the logs through the saw, first cutting off the outside slab wood. If the log is hickory, we bundle this slab wood to resell as firewood. Otherwise, the slab wood is carried up with conveyors to drop into the blow hog, which grinds the slab wood down to wood fiber or mulch. Meanwhile, our sawyer continues to turn the logs and make more cuts, selecting the prime thickness of lumber, whether it be furniture grade, pallet grade, custom ordered, etc. When enough of a single species of furniture grade lumber has been stacked up, we hire a lumber grader to go through each piece of lumber and grade it based on the standards set by the National Hardwood Lumber Association. As he grades each board, we stack them into packs of the same grade and length to load onto our trucks to ship to the companies that purchase the lumber. Many of our logs are sawn down to cross ties, while others are sawn down to what is called kents. These cants can be sent through our resaw to be cut down to smaller sized boards. 
As you can see, we go through many processes with the logs and create many raw wood materials. While most of the lumber we saw, such as furniture grade lumber, pallet material, and cross ties are sold to other companies, we remain one of the few sawmills in Middle Tennessee that still sells to the public. We have byproducts such as sawdust, wood fiber, and mulch available for public purchase. We also saw custom sized lumber as ordered by customers. Whether it be for fences, barns, or any other special project that green lumber may be used, we can saw the lumber for you. If we at Trot Lumber Company Incorporated can help you with your lumber needs, please give us a call at 931-684-0490. Thank you.